Hey everyone, I'm here with my buddy Jamie and we're talking about the Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, ASMR. This is a thing where you have one sensation and it leads to very specific type of physical sensations. What is ASMR? How do you experience it? I've recently been into Bob Ross. Have you heard of that guy? He's the hey, painter guy. He's the painter guy with the big afro. And the big paintbrushes. Paintbrushes, exactly. So growing up as a kid, my dad would turn on PBS and this guy would come on and start started painting landscape paintings. Hello, I'm Bob Ross. I'm gonna go right into a touch of phthalo blue. And I hope you've enjoyed this painting. I started watching and every time I would watch it, I would just start falling asleep. Yeah. Recently, I just discovered that all the Bob Ross episodes are now all on YouTube. Yeah. So, have you found out about this? You binge watch. I binge watch Bob Ross <laughs> painting videos yeah. because it puts me at ease, it gets me relaxed, and I fall asleep like that. Yeah. There is something about his really calm, soothing voice oh. that really puts me at ease. Time to wash your brush. <laughs> And just beat the devil out of there. Yeah. It's also the sound of the bristles on the canvas. What do you experience? I get a tingling sensation in the back of my head. It it's really relaxes like a, me. Uh, exactly. It's nice like someone give me, just... giving me a, a scalp massage in the back. There are tons of ASMR videos on YouTube. People making an entire channel devoted to role playing for, for ASMR. All right, you can just close your eyes for me. I'm just gonna dampen your skin. Hour long videos with people just with various objects. Yeah. Making noises. Kinda like. Uh, exactly. You hear that? I, you hear I, hear, this I hear that. Thing? Exactly. Is that giving you a scalp massage at I'm all? I'm falling asleep right now. Oh no, Jamie, don't fall asleep. <laughs> Last video I watched was just an hour long video on this guy carving wood. And just the sound of his knife on the wood yeah just really relaxed me so here's the interesting thing about asmr it's this new idea that hasn't really been studied too much and there's a big debate in the scientific community about whether or not this is a thing yeah. it kind of reminds me about the research on synesthesia where you experience one perception maybe a sound or a color and you experience it in another way. Maybe ASMR is similar where it affects a very small population and we just don't understand yet psychologically, neurologically what's happening. But you've described it yeah. as like a tapping yeah. on your back, yeah. a tingling sensation in your scalp. Yeah. I don't know uh, if it's attributed to, as, as a kid growing up, the only way for me to really get to sleep as a child is my mom would kind of give me give me a massage in the back of my head. You, you were know? telling me too, that when you get x-rays at the dentist, when they put that metal yeah. cover thing, yeah. that really just kind of puts you to sleep. And the sound of the assistants at their Gross. clothing, yeah. And the sound of the little carpet that they put in the back of your mouth. I'm so, I'm so jealous. It's like you have this neurological shortcut yeah. to relaxation. Yep. Do you experience anything like this, this ASMR response? Are there other sensations that trigger relaxation for you? Let me know in the comments below. I'm at Ogima2 on Twitter. Jamie, where can people find you? You can find me at JTran83 on Twitter. Be sure to subscribe to The Psych Show on YouTube and like us on Facebook.